March 2025, the Pentagon drops a bombshell that shook Beijing to its core. After years of secrecy, the Air Force just revealed the F-47, America's first sixth-generation fighter. Mach 2 speeds, over a thousand nautical miles of combat radius. Stealth so advanced, it makes the F-22 look like yesterday's news. And here's the kicker. It commands drone armies like a flying battle computer. The specs everyone's been hunting for, they're finally out. And what they reveal will change air warfare forever. Stick around, because what you're about to discover explains why Chinese generals just lost sleep. For over five years, something's been flying in complete secrecy over the Nevada desert. Test pilots who've flown it called it revolutionary. Defense analysts called it impossible, but the rumors were true. The F-22 Raptor, the jet that's dominated the sky since 2005, is getting a successor that makes it look ancient. And the leaked specifications reveal a fighter jet so advanced, it doesn't just replace the Raptor, it redefines what air dominance means in the 21st century. The program's called NGAD, Next Generation Air Dominance, and Boeing just won the $20 billion contract to build it. The designation? F-47. Now before we dive into the specs that have defense experts buzzing, you need to understand why this matters. Because this isn't just about a new fighter jet. This is about maintaining American air superiority for the next 30 years. Let's rewind to 2014. While most Americans were watching Netflix, Pentagon strategists were losing sleep over satellite photos from China. Their message was clear, the F-22 advantage wouldn't last forever. Russia was developing the Su-57, China was rolling out the J-20, and both nations made it clear they were working on sixth-generation fighters. The Air Force had a problem. They'd built only 186 F-22 Raptors before Congress shut down production in 2011. Less than 100 were still operational. And here's the brutal truth. The Raptor first flew in 1997. That's almost 30 years ago. In fighter jet terms, that's a lifetime. So they launched a program so secretive that even most members of Congress didn't know the details. The goal? Create a fighter jet that would keep America ahead, not just for years, but for decades. Now here's where it gets interesting. In 2020, the Air Force's acquisition chief dropped a hint that sent shockwaves through the defense community. He casually mentioned that a full-scale NGAD demonstrator had already flown. Not a model, not a concept, a real flying sixth-generation fighter. And nobody outside a handful of people had seen it. If you're as amazed by American military innovation as we are, type yes in the comments below. Fast forward to March 21st, 2025. President Trump walks into the Oval Office with Defense Secretary Pete Hegseth and Air Force Chief of Staff General David Alvin. The cameras are rolling, and Trump announces that Boeing has won the competition. The contract? Worth over $20 billion. The designation? F-47. Now, Boeing beating Lockheed Martin is massive news. Lockheed built the F-22 and the F-35. They've owned the stealth fighter market for decades. But Boeing came in with something different, something so innovative that Air Force generals chose them over the company that literally wrote the book on fifth-generation fighters. Steve Parker, Boeing CEO, wasn't shy about their confidence. His company invested $2 billion in a classified production facility before they even knew if they'd win the contract. Think about that. $2 billion. That's not a bet. That's certainty they had something special. And they were right. All right, let's talk about what makes the F-47 different. And trust me, these numbers tell a story that should worry every adversary. First, range. The F-47 has a combat radius of over 1,000 nautical miles. That's more than 1,800 kilometers. To put that in perspective, the F-22's combat radius is about 460 nautical miles. The F-47 goes more than twice as far. Why does this matter? In the Pacific, distance is everything. China's been building aircraft carriers and island bases, thinking American fighters can't reach them. The F-47 just rewrote that calculation. Second, speed. 
Mach 2 Plus. That means over 1,500 miles per hour. The F-47 maintains that speed while carrying more fuel and operating advanced sensors that would slow down older jets. It's not just fast, it's efficiently fast. Third, stealth. General Alvin said the F-47 has significantly more advanced stealth than the F-22 or F-35. We're talking about a jet that uses new radar absorbent materials, special ceramic coatings that survive heat and rain at high speeds, a design with no vertical tail surfaces, just like a stealth bomber. When Trump said enemies would never see it coming, he wasn't exaggerating. But here's where the F-47 gets truly revolutionary, and this is the part that should keep rival nations up at night. The F-47 isn't just a fighter jet, it's a quarterback, a flying command center, a mothership. Here's how it works. The F-47 takes off with multiple AI-controlled drones flying alongside it. The Air Force calls them Collaborative Combat Aircraft, CCAs for short. Think of them as loyal wingmen that never get tired, never make emotional decisions, and cost a fraction of a manned fighter. The Air Force plans to build over a thousand of these drones. They'll handle reconnaissance missions, electronic warfare, decoy operations, even strike missions. The F-47 pilot controls them all from a safe distance, directing the battle like a chess grandmaster moving pieces. Why is this brilliant? Cost. Each F-47 might cost around $300 million. Expensive, yes, but each CCA costs maybe $3 million. So for the price of one additional F-47, you can build a hundred drone wingmen. That's not just smart, that's strategic genius. And there's another angle here that's pure American innovation. While the pilot stays back at a safer distance, the drones push forward into the most dangerous areas. They absorb the risk, they gather the intelligence, they overwhelm enemy defenses. Companies like General Atomics and Anduril are already building the first generation of these drones, designated RFQ-42A and RFQ-44A. They're designed to work seamlessly with both the F-35 and the F-47. Now let's talk about what's powering this beast, because the engine technology alone represents a massive leap forward. Two companies are competing to build the F-47's engines, General Electric Aerospace and Pratt & Whitney. They're developing what's called Next Generation Adaptive Propulsion. These aren't your grandfather's jet engines. Here's what makes them special. Traditional engines run at fixed configurations. Adaptive engines shift their configuration based on what the mission needs. Need maximum speed? They optimize for thrust. Need to fly a thousand miles? They optimize for fuel efficiency. It's like having multiple engines in one package. Pratt & Whitney's already completed critical design reviews for their XA-103 engine. The data shows these engines provide greater thrust while burning less fuel. That's how the F-47 achieves both incredible speed and incredible range. Here's something most people don't realize. The way Boeing designed the F-47 is almost as revolutionary as the jet itself. Traditional fighter development takes decades. You build prototypes, test them, find problems, redesign, build new prototypes, test again. It's slow and expensive. Boeing used digital design differently. They built virtual models, ran thousands of simulations, tested systems and software before ever cutting metal. When they did build physical prototypes, those secret X-planes that flew starting in 2020, they already knew those designs worked. General Alvin confirmed those X-planes logged hundreds of flight hours. They tested cutting-edge concepts, proved technologies. By the time Boeing submitted their final F-47 design, they had years of test data backing it up. That's why they're confident about hitting a 2028 first flight date. Now, some of you might wonder, if the F-22's still the best fighter in the world, why replace it? The F-22 first flew in 1997. Technology moves fast, and potential adversaries have been studying the Raptor for almost 30 years, looking for weaknesses. China's developing their own sixth-generation fighters. In December 2024, they unveiled designs that are openly flying for the world to see, I craft like the J-36. Russia's working on advanced fighters too. If America waited another 10 years to develop a successor, we'd be playing catch-up. 
the F-22 will keep flying for years, receiving upgrades to extend its service life. But having the F-47 in development means American pilots will have the technological edge when it matters most. General Kenneth Wilsbach put it bluntly, we need crude sixth-generation aircraft to counter Chinese sixth-generation aircraft. Air superiority prevents wars by making aggression too costly to consider. Let's zoom out and look at the strategic picture, because the F-47 was designed specifically for one theater, the Indo-Pacific. Look at a map of the Pacific Ocean. China's building military bases on artificial islands. They've got aircraft carriers, long-range missiles, and here's their bet. American fighters based in Japan or Guam can't reach far enough to make a difference. The F-47 shatters that assumption. With a combat radius of over a thousand nautical miles, it can operate deep into contested airspace while its tankers stay safely back. And with those CCA drones extending its reach even further, it creates a defensive umbrella that's nearly impossible to penetrate. This isn't about aggression, it's about deterrence. When potential adversaries know they can't win an air battle, they don't start one. The F-47's very existence makes war less likely. So when will we see F-47s in the sky? Boeing's already started manufacturing the first aircraft. General Alvin confirmed the first flight is scheduled for 2028. Initial operating capability, meaning the jets ready for combat, is targeted for 2029 to 2030. The Air Force plans to buy at least 185 F-47s. Each one will fly with two CCA drones, meaning 370 drones supporting the F-47 fleet. Add the drones planned for F-35 units, and you're looking at over a thousand autonomous aircraft working alongside American pilots. Now let's address the elephant in the room, money. Early estimates put each F-47 at around $300 million. That's expensive. For comparison, an F-35 costs about $100 million. But here's the thing, the F-47 will actually cost less per unit than the F-22 did, according to Air Force officials. And remember those CCA drones at $3 million each? That's where the Air Force creates mass on a budget. Ten drones cost $30 million, a fraction of one F-47. But those ten drones dramatically multiply what that F-47 can accomplish. The total NGAD program budget for 2025 through 2029 is around $28 billion. Yes, it's a lot of money. It's also cheaper than fighting a war America isn't prepared to win. Let's bring this home. Why should you care about the F-47? Because air superiority is the foundation of everything else American forces do. Can't control the air? Your troops on the ground are vulnerable. Your ships at sea are exposed. Every military victory America's won in the past 80 years started with controlling the skies. The F-47 ensures that continues. It gives American pilots a technological advantage so overwhelming that adversaries will think twice before challenging us. It protects allies who depend on American security guarantees. This isn't about wanting war, it's about preventing it. Strong defense capabilities make aggression too costly they give diplomacy room to work. And here's something often overlooked. Programs like this drive innovation that benefits everyone. The advanced materials Boeing developed, they'll show up in commercial aircraft. The manufacturing techniques, they'll boost American industry across the board. The F-47 program still has challenges ahead. First flight in 2028 means three years of intense work, systems integration, testing, getting those CCA drones working seamlessly with manned fighters, training pilots on completely new tactics. But the foundation is solid. The X-Planes proved the concepts work. Boeing's invested heavily in production capability, and the Air Force is committed to making this happen on schedule. By the early 2030s, American pilots will be flying the most advanced fighter jet ever built. They'll command drone armies. They'll operate at ranges our enemies can't match. They'll see threats before those threats see them. That's not just maintaining air superiority, that's redefining it. The F-22 dominated the skies for a quarter century. The F-47 is designed to dominate for the next 30 years and beyond. As threats evolve, the F-47's modular design means it can adapt. New weapons, updated sensors, this isn't just a fighter jet, it's a platform that will grow throughout its service life. 
So when you see headlines about the F-47, remember what it represents. It's the culmination of years of classified research, billions in investment, the best minds in aerospace engineering, and a commitment to ensuring American service members have every advantage when their lives are on the line. The leaked specs we've covered today reveal a fighter jet that's faster, stealthier, and more capable than anything flying today. A jet that will keep Chinese generals awake at night, wondering how to counter it. A jet that proves American innovation still leads the world. The F-22 was legendary. The F-47 will be historic. And America's skies will remain the safest on Earth. If you found this breakdown valuable, hit that like button and subscribe for more military tech analysis. The defense technology race never stops and we'll keep you informed on every development. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.